saying they actually decreased their wages, and these are politicians, um, and dramatically by like three quarters or something. Uh, so, I mean, unusual, right? How many politicians say, I want less money, um, unless there is arguably something that's going to happen that's going to compensate for that. So what the, what, one of the rumors going around is that um, the currency, again, is going to revalue uh, dramatically. It can't, it can't revalue more than Kuwait, I don't think, because Kuwait has said, you know, not a penny more than, than us or something. But even if it revalued to a, a dollar, that's 1,170 times more than it was worth. Um, and that's crazy, because if that was the case, um, then the Americans who own probably about 20% of the Iraqi currency um, would be able to pay off pretty much all of their debts. Uh, right now, <laughs> they are sitting at a deficit of, I think it's 14 trillion, more than they had ever wanted. And I think there's about 2 trillion in Iraqi, a little more, maybe 3 trillion in Iraqi currency. That was a figure that I've seen, might not be right, but, uh, and if, if America o owns about 20%, we don't know how much they own because it would be put in the Federal Reserve and you can't audit the Fed, so you don't know how much it is. But that was, again, probably a pretty good speculation, about 20%. And so, the Fed, I mean, uh, America, America, quote unquote, owning about 20% of the Iraqi dinars would be, you know, maybe 400 billion, something like this. Um, 400 billion revalued would be uh, 40 trillion, maybe, something like that. I mean, could be more, could be less, but that would be, if this is really happening, they could easily pay off their debt and have a lot more in the kitty. Okay, so there's about two, just so you know, there's about 2.3 that seem to be held by the average Joe. 2.3%. Mostly Americans, interestingly. I mean, Canadians and others too, but I think the majority of people are Americans that own Iraqi dinar. And so that would make a lot of instant millionaires too. And I, I first thought that that would never be allowed by the banking establishment because time and again, it's extracting the wealth from the people. Now, when you look at it from the inflationary standpoint, and the long term, having a few people that become millionaires again, when it seems like we're trying to, they're, they're trying to deindustrialize. This is, this is my perspective. They're trying to deindustrialize. Um, America, I'm not 100% sure about that, but that's, that's uh, something that I'm thinking is happening, then giving a few people, in a sense giving a few people millions of dollars isn't a big loss because now they have even a lot more control than they did before, I think. If you look at it this way, the New World Order's heart is America, the head is sort of England, and the stomach, the energy, is sort of the Middle East or Iraq. So, this is a metaphor that I've been playing with. So, if they supply the stomach with more power, then they're fueling their new world order, I think. I think. They're giving it more life. So there would initially be a, a, a nice boom in America, but I think the follow through would be, again, more clamped down, more, more control, um, and that sort of thing. So, I think this will backfire on them. I think the, the Christians, which have been the primary people that have invested in this, interestingly, uh, I think 
because because they still have very Puritan morals, a lot of them, in a good way, in a way that's like they want the best, and these are the people that will benefit the most from this, which is not maybe such a bad thing, and. So they have now millions of dollars, and they try. They're trying to start um, charities and these sorts of. And a lot of these people aren't, you know, in certain levels immature. Maybe maybe on this, their religious beliefs they are. But like I know a lot of Christians that have some pretty sophisticated views on other things. Very sophisticated views. Some of the smartest people I know are actually quite Christian. Um, so, <laughs> it's a tangled, tangled knot. Don't get me wrong. And I don't, I, 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 there's a lot of confusion in my mind exactly what's going on here, but there's something going to take place, I think, in relationship to Iraq that will be quite dramatic. Whether it is indeed a revaluation, or if it's a WAP, or if it's a PSYOP tool for something else, I think investing a little bit in it isn't a bad idea because of the potentials, even though you could lose everything, um, the potentials to make a lot are there, I believe, and so that makes logical sense to me. I'm not an investor, not, nor do I want to give investing advice, I'm just saying that I would love to see good people prosper and help augment the global power control system that we have forming. Maybe. So I'll leave it at that. Um, blessings and such and good days to you. Take care and whatnot. <laughs>